Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here today to talk about the latest episode of Peacemaker. Um, just talking about just the cameo. Um, I just want to make a separate video talking about this. I probably will do a review over these next couple days of the whole season as a whole. Um, but I just want to talk about this because, you know, it's the most talked about uh, moment from the season finale, which was a great season finale. I thought it was good. Um, but... We had a major cameo, and it was none other than the Justice League, or at least half of the Justice League. So I have the clip. I'm just going to watch it again just to you know, kind of make sure I get talk about everything that's uh, brought up in this scene. And also for any of you guys who maybe don't watch the show, but you're interested in watching the scene or watching my reaction to the scene, um, I have it here. So let's check it out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't think James Gunn would do it. But, hey. Um, I mean, seeing Momoa and Ezra Miller in this scene, you know, it's kind of like, okay, it's we knew, like, it, out of any Justice League members, it'll probably be them, considering that they both have movies um, this year. Seeing Wonder Woman, though, I, I was actually confused as to why Gal, you know, didn't, shoot any scenes um but obviously her character didn't really say anything so I, I don't see why you know waste the money i guess um or maybe it's because she kind of has a personal beef with warner Bros. i know she came out publicly about josh whedon too so i don't know if they're giving her a crap for that i know wonder woman 80, 1984 was ass so you know she's she doesn't really have anything to build off of right now um that kind of ruined it her momentum as wonder woman although she was great in Zack snyder's justice league Without the music. Um, in Superman, you kind of knew it was going to be a stand-in. Kind of like the same thing in Shazam. Um, <laughs> we're kind of used to it at this point. But I am... I do like the fact that it is Superman. There is no Supergirl right now. It is it is Superman. Um, and it, he follows a bit of that Henry Cavill mold. Like, he still has the same suit. Um, I mean, you can't really tell because it's kind of cloudy, but it kind of resembles the suit that he's worn in Man of, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, you know, in this uh, DCEU version, which I think is a great suit. Um, and the actor kind of has a similar physique and look, like, outline of what Cavill looks like. So maybe there's hope that Henry Cavill still could be Superman uh, in the DCEU. Uh, fingers crossed, I'm, pr I'm praying as well. Um... But man, <laughs> I I love you know because the whole show is Peacemaker making jokes about the Justice League and you know Aquaman, fucking fish, Batman, and his shit. Um, so to see that joke, it's it's funny, man. See Arthur address it. See Jason Momoa. You know it actually. Is, I think f for now it is like the perfect combination of Jason Momoa and Aquaman, like. You know, he actually says, go fuck yourself, Barry. You know, you would you would never see stuff like that in any of the movies, although maybe Zat Snyder probably would put that shit in there, uh, considering he had Batman drop a few F-bombs in his movies. Um, so to see James Gunn do it, that's fun. That's funny. Um, man, when, it, when I watched it last night, like, I was amazed. I was, I was shocked. I was like, holy shit. Um, you know, I've seen people who, like, 
diehard Snyderverse fans and they've like they've hated the fact that they only brought three members and you know it's not like the Zats vision. Um, I'm just thinking of it as the radical DC fan and the Zat Snyder fan that hey. At the end of the day, it's kind of a nice balance. I mean, at least we do get we do have Superman cuz, you know, for all the rumors surrounding the Flash and Supergirl being the new Superman and all that shit, we do have a Superman. We just don't have the actor yet and maybe they're still working everything out with Henry Cavill. We still have Wonder Woman, we still have Flash and Aquaman. Batman, if you ask me, I personally think they should have just recasted Affleck with um someone else similar to his age. Not going to give any names, <clears throat> John Hamm, you know, to, pl- to play the role of Batman uh, and Bruce Wayne in that universe. I think he fits. Um, but, you know, someone that similar to Affleck. Um, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Michael Keaton being Batman uh, in the DCEU. I know that's a rumor of him being the main Batman. Um, I definitely hate the rumor of Batgirl being the main Batman. Um... For one, I just don't like Keaton because it's the, he's the same age as as Alfred and, and Gordon, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, that's just my opinion. I feel like his his Batman should be something separate. Uh, maybe in a universe with Batman Beyond, I think that would be perfect for, for a Michael Keaton uh, established Batman. But it is what it is, man. All I can say is I enjoyed watching this clip. I enjoyed seeing the Justice League and Peacemaker season finale um, and kind of just show up at the end. Uh, because they were mentioned in the episode, like, um, what's her name? Damn it, Ted, can't think of it. Adebayo was talking to her mom, Amanda Waller, on the phone, and she was like, can't you talk, call the Justice League? And even in Suicide Squad, I think, um, I don't know if they mentioned the Justice League. I know it's like the guy said, this will compete with the big leads, and I think that was maybe a reference to it. But, you know, to see the Justice League actually pull up, bro, that's... That's fucking amazing. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> that, those are my thoughts, man. That's a, that's a funny interaction, though. That is hilarious. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it, man. I I enjoy Peacemaker. I'll probably I'm, again I'm probably gonna do a, a review in these next couple of days. And give you my full thoughts on the season as a whole. Um, but as far as this episode, it was amazing. Uh, James Gunn, you can tell they give him a lot of freedom in writing and directing the show. And I know it's announced the season two. And I don't mind James Gunn doing a lot of shows like this. Especially in the DCEU with some of these wacky characters. Um, who don't really get a lot of attention you know, in mainstream media. You know, Peacemaker is a guy that I kind of never regarded vigilante <laughs> so seeing him um i mean if he wants to do a show on condiment king or, or kite man he probably could I, I feel like those are projects that james gunn should do because he he makes he makes good shows for a lot of wacky characters and i feel like um you know all those characters in the dcu that are lower tier wacky would be perfect under him so you know i think <laughs> hey i'm here for it as long as it's good dc content I'm here for it, and uh, Peacemaker was good DC content, so if you haven't watched it, be sure to check it out. Um, But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Justice League cameo in the Peacemaker. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you enjoy the cameo? Did you hate it? What do you you think this does for the DCEU moving forward um, with the Justice League? Who do you see being some of the actors? Do you think it's, do you think Henry Cavill is coming back to be Superman? Do you think it's someone else? Let me know down below. Let me know your choices, who you would recast for some of these roles. I would love to hear them. Um, but those are my thoughts, my takeaways. Uh, again, let me know down below. If you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to tune in for more. All right, guys, that'll be all. Deuces.